more about the journey on getting to your destination and the story that it tells. Yeah, I mean, I eat, sleep, breathe this stuff, so it definitely is a lifestyle for us. At face value, overlanding, you know, we think about it as camping or I'm just driving off road, but um, freedom is kind of the, the actual overarching uh, theme, you know, of, of overlanding or for overlanding. Freedom is really what it's all about, you know. It's, it's the freedom to, to explore, the freedom to travel, the freedom to see this country and others. Our group holds pretty dear the freedoms that we have here in America, which seem to be slipping away uh, each and every day. The self-reliant mindset and being prepared, that's a manifestation of the core values and the core principles that we have um, as individuals and as families and as teams. So we immediately just had this friendship bond. And that's, that's kind of where all of these relationships started to develop. We're just a bunch of guys and, and families that have similar values and beliefs. And we enjoy working on cars and um, getting out and exploring. So the, the group kind of, in a, in a way, formed itself. Well, I think the time that we actually gelled or like became Rally Rats is uh, in 2020 when we all went and did the Red Clay Rally together. That's the photo. Jacob and I have been talking about doing the Red Clay Rally, which is a uh, over, it's an off-road rally out here over about 600 miles. We talked about participating in it and decided as a group that we should give it a shot. We should all enter in this rally and we just had a blast. We had an amazing time. It's about 5.45 in the morning. Um, we're just waking up, packing up, getting ready to check in. Uh, yeah, we didn't get in until about 3.30, 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. last night. So we're all pretty groggy, but uh, yeah, should make for a good day. Uh, so the teams are lining up preparing for the exit. I think the first 10 teams have already uh, uh, pushed off through the exit and now the last 10 teams were team 16. Otherwise I think my microphone doesn't work. Now nah, you're good. We got you. Um, good? Yeah, so we're getting ready to step off. They're uh, working on vehicles, going over obstacles, navigation, communication. Um, they got to work on that in a somewhat stressful environment at times. It wasn't until we finished the rally where we decided, hey, we mesh really well together as a team. You know, our communication is great, our uh, driving skills are great, uh, we had badass vehicles, all of us. Uh, <laughs> Good Clay Rally Day 3, this is amazing. So cool. Beautiful, beautiful views today. We just gotta figure out how we did. We got our timesheet turned in, and uh, I just gotta put up some of the recovery gear. The Red Clay Rally was definitely uh, an experience that kind of gave. I, I know, it, like Chad and I, after that, we're talking about it for a long time. Uh, that you know, we can't wait to get out and do something else. You know, what can we do next? Where can we go next? Um, that was probably the first time that we started. You know, like the, the team started to actually. Flip.
centered around. So it could be worth just circling. This trip is a three week excursion through the Ozarks, Colorado, and Moab, Utah. This is an opportunity for us to break away and a reset from the daily busy grind. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to taking my young children out and sort of instill in them a sense of adventure. A lot of people forget is half the fun for me is building these vehicles, you know, to do this stuff. This is a chance for us to actually enjoy the, some of the fruits of our labor and participate in some of the sort of activities that we spend all day obsessing over. We've been able to do all the work on our vehicles uh, ourselves. It's not just for fun, for camping, overlanding, but at the same time, it's self-sufficiency in case you ever needed it, in case you had to, to get out of town or go somewhere for an extended period of time. For whatever reason, you know, you know that you've got a vehicle and equipment and the skills to go and do that. want to take that knowledge that we've learned, that we've developed, that other people uh, that have, have been nice enough to pass on to us, I want to pass that on to my kids, of course, the next generation, people that are new uh, into this world as well, uh, for the same reasons that we talked about, whether it's an emergency situation or whether it's just for fun. I, I want to take that knowledge and that skill set and pass it on.